Hi. In this video, I will explain difference between mutex and semaphore. So, in order to show this difference, uh, we are going to take one example. We are taking here toilet key example. So, let's assume we are having a toilet, and uh, these three person they want to use this toilet, and this door is locked, and there is only one key. So at a time only one person can own that key, he can enter, he can occupy a toilet and once he is done, he will give this key to another person. So this scenario will uh, work like this one. So he will go, toilet will be occupied and after once he is done, he will give this key to others. So mutex also works as same. Mutex are object that owned by a thread at a time only by one thread. So one, once that thread is done, that thread will release the mutex. So there is a ownership in case of mutex. A thread will be there. If that thread wants to access a critical section, that thread actually has to own mutex. He has to lock the mutex. Once it is done, it will unlock the mutex. Now it might be possible while this uh, <coughs> mutex object is owned by some other thread and uh, another thread try to access that critical section so in that case it will return error so let's see the actual scenario here uh, so this is our resource and these three objects are trying to access this resource so it can be a simultaneous access or it can be a sequential access so let's assume this thread one all thread are having this code they will first lock the mutex then they, they will do their work and then they will unlock the mutex so thread 1 actually start its execution uh, first so what this thread 1 will do it will first of all lock the mutex so let's say this resource is uh, this one is uh, representing a mutex object so it is locked and this thread is having that mutex object and it is doing its work so we can say mutex object held by thread 1 now meanwhile thread 2 also trying to access resources so thread 2 also will execute the same code so thread 2 also trying to occupy mutex object but that mutex is already held by thread 1 so this mutex object can be held by only one thread at a time if another thread try to occupy it what it will uh, what will happen there will be one error so a thread 2 attempt will return one error so this is the way how mutex work Sim, uh, mutex uh, is a object whenever a thread wants to access a resources that thread first of all occupy the mutex object and once that work is done it will release the object so there is your ownership now if we have a look on semaphore so let's <coughs> generalize our mutex example so now let's say we are having four toilet and uh, these four toilet are having four identical keys so one key can be used in any toilet and total person we are having five so here we are uh, keeping total number of keys available so let's say this person <coughs> wants to use toilet facility so he will come here he will pick one key and he will go to the toilet so when he will pick the key the total number of keys left are three so same after him let's say two more person came and they used these two objects so finally we are having with one key so this variable this variable actually specifying how many keys are available so at last when we are having no keys available and if at this point of time if this person trying to access uh, any of these toilet it will have to wait because there is no keys available so this variable can be used to see whether any whether there will be a waiting or there will be a access to the facility so semaphore so in case if there is no key this person has to wait so semaphore semaphore actually used to provide how many number of simultaneous access can be allowed and there is no ownership relationship here this is actually a signaling mechanism so if we going to see the our same example with help of semaphore so let's say the semaphore is having a variable s and the value of semaphore is 2 
So it actually specifying how many number of thread can simultaneously access this resource. Whenever a thread try to access a shared resource, first that thread has to decrement value of sim of thread. And after decrementing this value, if the value is less than zero, this thread has to wait. So what this thread will do, it will decrease this value, this value become one. And in that case, this value is not less than zero. So this access will be allowed. Now let's assume this thread also wants to access resource. So this thread also decrease the value of x. And after decreasing this value, this value becomes zero and this one is uh, not less than zero. So in that case, this thread also will be having access to resources. But now if there is another thread wants to access that thread will come here and this value become minus one after decrementing uh, sorry after decreasing so that thread has to wait that thread cannot access this resource because a simultaneous access only to allow and whenever one of these thread is done they will increase this value and as soon as this value is increased the third thread starts execution so schema 4 is actually a signaling mechanism there is no ownership here but in case of mutex there is a ownership so we can say mutex, mutex is a object which owned by thread and thread which is having this mutex object he can access that resource he can enter in the critical section whereas in schema 4 schema 4 is a signaling a signaling mechanism and it allow how many uh, maximum number of simultaneous access can be allowed. Thank you very much for watching.